Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mari Dominguez and you're watching a little bit of everything. On today's quick and easy DIY, I'm continuing with my fall slash Thanksgiving decorations. And today I'm going to show you how I made this cute table tray and how I decorated these candles using items all purchased at the Dollar Tree. So without further ado, let's continue on with this tutorial. So for today's tutorial, we're going to be needing the following items. Now everything here is from the Dollar Tree except the Waverly chalk paint in black, which I purchased at Walmart. As you can see, I have three candles. I have the burlap ribbon. I have some brown twine, nautical rope, some maple leaves, some leftover acorns from a previous project, and this little sign here that we're going to be using the back part of. Alrighty? So without further ado, let's continue on with this video. So I've removed all the wrapping from the candles. I was actually looking for a pillar candle, but I didn't find them at the Dollar Tree this year. So I'm just going to put these two together. I did not remove the bottom paper here, nor the plastic here, so I can put a little dab of glue to hold them together and create a pillar candle. Now on this little sign, you can paint, that's hence the reason why I had the Waverly chalk paint. You can paint this if you like in black or if you want to just leave it like that because regardless, it's going to be the bottom. I'm making a little tray for the candle. So we're just going to remove this little um, hanging part that's in the back. That's what we're going to do right now. We're just going to remove that little part. It's stuck on there pretty good. just remove that so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the nautical rope we're using the nautical rope and we're just gonna wrap it around the edge of the tray that we're creating okay so let's start here I'm just gonna go all the way around and so we cover the whole thing completely. Make a little like candle tray, rustic, still with the fall mode here, guys, because I love fall. I love the colors of fall, and Thanksgiving is in the fall. Pretty soon I will be doing my Christmas DIYs, but I'm still trying to finish up with my Thanksgiving, which I'm going to be doing a couple of those too. I have a couple of ideas to share with y'all. Hopefully we can enjoy them together. Ready? So far, I have the one lying down I'm gonna continue wrapping you know how sometimes this uh, Dollar Tree nautical rope has these rough pieces you can just cut those off I love the way those candles smell these are the vanilla ones they smell so yummy Like I said, you can paint the bottom part of the the little um, picture, but it's not going to be seen. We're using it as a tray. And it's something that you can probably repurpose for something else too. Just like the whole nautical rope thing about it. We've done our first 
line. Now we're going to go to our second line. And it's going to take like three wraps before it's completely done. So I'll continue here and we'll be right back. So I'm at the last, I'm at the last uh, round here. Decided to do a little bit higher. It was three. Decided to go a little bit higher so it can like go like on the lip almost of the um, of the frame here. Just be careful. Remember, hot glue is hot. My last tutorial, a glob of glue fell on my nail. And I was so good. I didn't scream or anything. I'm waiting. We're almost done here. You can paint the inside also. I'll probably do that later as an app. Like I'm thinking about it now, right? As like an afterthought here. Um, you can paint the inside also if you like. I just for now like the rustic look of it. But if you want it to be more shabby chic or farmhouse, you can paint it any old color inside. You can paint it white or you can paint it off white, ivory. Maybe even black if you like. Depends on your preference. All right, we're here almost to the finale here. It's looking pretty cute so far. Definitely all covered up with the nautical rope. And then you're going to put together the pillar candle, the two candles, the two small pillars, to create one large one. And you'll see how we're going to decorate that now also. You're going to pick and choose the leaf color of your liking. I have like the gold and the uh, orange. We're also going to be covering the uh, pillars now here with burlap, so... We're almost done here, and we're going to get right on to that. Don't forget to cut your nautical rope at an angle so that it's easier to just, you know, hot glue down and it doesn't, is it the word frazzle? Is that the word I'm looking for? Fray? So that's how it's looking. The edges you see. Pretty cute. A little bit of glue here to get that one down in there. Alright you guys, so so now our tray is done. I'm not gonna put little handles on the side. That's also an afterthought. You can do that also if you like. So now, like I said. I didn't take the paper here off the bottom, nor the plastic from the top here, so we can just, with a little bit dab of glue, paste down these pillars together. And then, we're going to take our burlap, and we're going to wrap it around, we're going to wrap it around here, on the candles, let me get the size. Put it to the width, and then we're just going to hot glue that down. Because we know that candles are tricky because, hello, wax melts. Just put it right on top of the burlap to glue. Just a little dollop there, and that should be good. Alrighty. And so far, so good. Okay. Now, we're going to take the ribbon, and this is some brown burlap ribbon that I found this year at the Dollar Tree. I thought it was very cute. And we're just going to wrap it around here a few times.
basically as much as you like. But I want to do a little twist on it. I want to actually like tie on the leaves to it. So we're going to put a little dollop of glue there. And like I said, you pick the, the leaves that you want. You put a little dab of glue there to hold on a little bit, the leaves. You're just going to place them on there. And then just tie your uh, ribbon around the leaves. Can do a little bow if you're good at it. Y'all remember I'm not great at bows. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put one of the little acorns on there. See how it looks so far now right here in the middle we'll put the acorn on. I glue that little puppy in there. Dollar Tree with those little acorns was so cool this year. But have y'all been lately to the Dollar Tree? Because it's Christmas at the Dollar Tree. Oh boy, I'm going crazy this year. Alrighty, looking very cute there, right? You can also tie like cinnamon sticks on there if you like. You can do anything you want. I still want it to look like, have that little fall look to complete my uh, Thanksgiving, my Thanksgiving decoration. So with the second candle, you probably just want to cut down a little bit the size of, of the burlap because if not, it'll be completely covered. So you can cut it down like in the middle or something or just a little bit of the edges. I'll go right down the middle. Once you're done with the candles, decorating the candles, and putting it on the tray, you can get anything else you like onto the tray to complete the decorativeness of it. So I have like some little tchotchkes that I got prior at the Dollar Tree during this year. And you'll see once I get it together how cute it's going to look. Alrighty, so there's the other candle, you see? And let's get the ribbon. get our little leaves to glue our little dab of glue to put our leaves on these definitely be a little bit bigger for the candle but that's okay because it's just the look of it and like I said I think cinnamon sticks or something would also look very cool with this. So I just wanted to use the acorns because they were on hand and I thought they looked so cute. Let's move it 
peach corn. Put a little peach corn down. And there's our second candle. So now I'll set up the tray and we'll be right back. And here you have it, friends. My little farmhouse, rustic, shabby chic, fall tray and candles. I think this came out pretty cute. What do you think? As always, thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking, commenting, and sharing my videos is greatly appreciated. Oh, and don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. So once again, thank you for watching and blessings to you all.